I just had the strangest thing happen to me. I was out on my way home and I saw this large house right off of the highway covered in neon signs saying like tarot, palm reading, that sort of stuff. What was weird is that I've driven this road hundreds of times and I've never noticed this aggressive marketing. So I took it as my sign that I needed to go, bitch. And I haven't ever done anything like this. So I walk my little gay ass in and I ask for the works. And this lady takes me into this dark ass room and is giving me this like ooh ah ah experience. And at the end, she said, I have a very specific takeaway from your reading today. You are on the right path. And very soon, you're going to get a second chance. I said, a second chance at what? Bitch, are you telling me that I'm going to have a near-death experience? So I got out of there with a lot less money in my pocket. And I just thought, well, this was fun to do once. So now, me and my fiance, we have things to do tonight separately. So we were like, let's go get an early dinner. And we just stopped at a random restaurant that we were passing. So the host seats us at the table and we're looking at the menu and we were literally getting ready to leave because I looked at the menu and I was like, babe, I'm not really feeling this. Do you want to go somewhere else? But as I'm picking up my wallet, the waiter comes to the table and is like, how y'all doing tonight? And I looked at this person and was like, <clears throat> tell me why the waiter is someone that I went on a date with like nine, 10 years ago when I was working in Colorado. A man who I invited back to my apartment. A man who, when I went to the bathroom, snuck out of my apartment with my wallet. A man who, right now, in 2023, has the fucking audacity to look at me and go, Oh my god! Hi! I follow you on Instagram! Knowing full damn well that he fucking stole from me. I said, are you fucking kidding me? Hi! You're a thief! And this bitchy fucking queen looks at me in my eyes and says, Oh my fucking god, don't be immature. Don't be sad that I wasn't into you. I just laughed. I said, oh, sad. Bitch, there's a reason why I stopped drinking alcohol. Like, how the fuck does your head have a waistline? Motherfucker shaped like a peanut. Looking like a salty, broke mega mind. And then he fucking winked at my fiance. I said, bitch, I cannot believe you have let your confidence go to your head. Because that shit should have gotten tired halfway up your forehead. Anyway, we typically tip like 25 to 30%. So we're going to leave and just... Call it even. Like, I don't know what line on my hand that bitch saw that in her third eye or whatever, but 